Wow. So this this is all this has all got one title, hasn't it? It's, it's yeah, the the show is called Sight S I T E. It, it's a bit of a hoary old term in in, in contemporary art, so oh, well, art site specific, but yeah. I think I wanted to address this place in in that way. It's, it's such a spectacular space. The identity of this, the previous identity of this place, which to some extent. Because it was a flour mill. Yeah, it was a yeah. flour mill. And, and so the space is, in a way, just pres rather preserved. There's nothing kind of hugely interrupted, even, even though it's numerically mm. Mm. Uh, large. God, I mean, it is amazing. And how, how many are there? How many stones? Um, 65,536. And in binary terms, that's... That's one followed by 16 zeros. Uh, it's two to the power of 16. Okay, and that's and a perfect number, isn't it? It's a super perfect number in that, yeah, if you go from squares, two, four, 16, okay. fifth square along, you get this figure, yeah. Um, and so it's a, it's a X number of chessboards. And, and where did all the stones come from? Um, they were commercially sourced because you, it's illegal to take them from the, the beach. I had a vision of you crawling, crawling around crawling saying, around that's that, that, that one's perfect and that, yeah. one, that one isn't, no. I mean, I started off, obviously in the studio with just one chess yeah. board and some stones from around the corner in Soho Square. And you know, the, yeah, a few things fed into the notion that I could make this on an epic scale. I, I visited Troy a year or so ago and the archaeological dig around there has passed a million catalogued items and there was something about the fastidiousness of that yeah. and these kind of rather arid bits of what just looked like rock most of the time and, and and also I suppose going back to the game or to um, intelligence or a kind of materialist kind of intelligence through computing I, I think I was thinking a little bit of when the deep blue computer beat Kasparov and, and that. And oh, the chess player. Yeah, yeah. And we love to find pattern, don't we? And we're finding lines and shadows, but they're finding little alignments that have happened entirely by chance. I mean, all this becomes. Yes. You become aware of yourself. You're not just looking, you become aware of yourself looking after yes, a bit. Yes. And, yes. Um, which is always a pleasure and a conundrum, really. It, it is, it is. There is this nice continuity, looking across the field, and it, it continues into the shingle. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, Maybe uh, you need to lay on the floor to I really... Think I think like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, that is all right, isn't it? That? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Already we're beginning to get the optical illusion, aren't we? Yeah. Sort of the, and it's a square, isn't it? Is it a big square? It pretty much is. It's almost like a kind of noughts and crosses tic-tac-toe as well. Yeah. And, the, and the structure is bolstered by three crosses up the side. So it's like a kind of a, a fool playing noughts and crosses himself. <laughs> and they have their own natural choreography, don't they? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean... Um, I mean, some of these things, you know, you can see from modern times, if you like, there's a bit of that. Exactly. And that kind of, but, um, but the way the task drives the way that they move is, is, is something mm. I like. Um, mm. and so they've found the most, yeah, economical way of using their bodies to construct. I mean, re stuff. and really what we're, what we're looking at is something that... Imagine the, scaffold, the skill of the scaffolders in the Middle Ages when they were building cathedrals, for example. Construction site, yeah, I mean, fulfilled a, a long-held desire to make a film about scaffolders. I do, I do like watching them work and, and uh, you know, it's a dangerous job. You've got to have complete trust, teamwork. But there's a certain Alain and, and... Bravado. Bravado, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the comedy shtick of carrying a... Exactly, carrying a, exactly, a, exactly. I mean, you know, yeah. A plank. Yeah. If you've got a plank and a pole and all the rest of it. I suppose a lot of my work deals with illusion and perception and basic 
visual kind of play. We, we got the scaffolders to build a camera tower the same height as the thing that they were then going to build so we could get uh, the camera at the correct height so that eventually um, what they construct when the last planks are inserted is exactly in line with the horizon and then the men become giants briefly and then they Walking they just, along the top. Yeah, walking along You'd the top. You'd have to wait then, 87 minutes or something well, you for have the punchline. Yeah, no, you have to wait about <laughs> well, 50, 55 minutes, maybe, yeah. Um, oh, OK. <laughs> this is um, called The Other Wall. The Other Wall? Yeah, I mean, of course it's... I mean, it's sort of one wall masquerading as another wall, which is, of course, one of literally millions of walls that... that could be reconstituted from, from all these things. And the numbers give a particularity and identity to individual bricks that, that we, just for the sake of sanity, don't want to kind of think about too much. We have this word wall that stops us thinking about bricks yeah. <laughs> in, in all their slight variation. I always find when I look at a really huge wall like this, or, or at, say, Tate Modern, which is made of bricks, and I know, look, I know. And it's yeah, sort yeah. of overwhelming when you think of how it, many bricks. It is, it is, it is. I've, I've marked that building as well. Um, <laughs> oh, you've, you've written your name I Mark. have, I have. I've been going around London, yeah, um, mark making, I guess. Uh, exactly. Taking my name um, in a sort of, I suppose a, a certain bathos in trying to assert one's identity in, in, in this way uh, against, the, again, the vastness and the ubiquity of bricks in, in, yeah. in London and it took me 50 years to use my name as a pun which I think was quite you know. that's not bad yeah. is it <laughs> and you weren't tempted to uh, just have one saying mark no well there is one more work I am going to write my mark on the other side of the building outside you're yes. going to make your mark yes <laughs> If you don't dissolve in the Gateshead rain. Indeed. OK, um, we're going to venture out now. Yes. You're going to have to choose your brick, I know, Mark. I know, it's always a... It's There's a, a nice one. It's a tricky moment, there's always. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to, you've got to be sure. And then we've got this dip. I thought you were joking. You weren't joking. No. Oh dear. That's magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> I am so moved yes, that you allowed me to <laughs> thank you, Agent, and us be... to, <laughs> to share the creative process. I mean, the anguish be, must be, be ever brief. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think you nailed it. Yeah. I, well. I... <laughs>